Hi, bud. Are you waiting so patient? You're a good boy. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Who are you? You are not from the South. You are a Midwest girl. We don't say y'all. Stop itching. Cheers to Christmas cups in March. If my nose would merely stop running for 0.2 seconds, I'd really like that. Is the microphone on? I honestly do not want to get up and check, but I should check. Leave the watch on, take the watch off, leave the watch on, take the watch off. All right, you guys, so I've already... Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we're gonna test a bunch of new makeup. Well, not a bunch, there's like a handful of new makeup, okay? I'm not one of those people who goes out and buys like a whole new face of makeup every week. That's just like not my style. I can't afford that. I would probably be a broke bish if I did that. So I just picked up some new things that caught my eye this week and I thought we would test it together in natural light. So I'm gonna keep this intro super short and super sweet. If you are interested in that, go ahead and keep watching. All right, you guys, so here's how these videos go. I'm sitting in my living room with no artificial lighting. I have three very large windows in front of me. The blinds are up, so this is all natural light. I do live off a busy street, so you will hear some, you know, cars back and forth. It's Sunday, people are minding their business, running their errands, doing their thing. So you might hear some sounds, but I like to do these videos every once in a while. Actually, it's been a little more frequently than every once in a while, because they're just nice. It's not such a production, and you can truly see the makeup for what it's worth. So I've already primed my skin. I went in with the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. I have been loving this stuff, along with the setting spray. Beautiful, beautiful products. I want to get more into Becca. I really like their products. I think they're really nice and it's kind of a more like natural take on makeup most of the time. So I did that about 15 minutes ago. I like to let my primers sink into the skin and let them do their jobs and then I'm ready to go in with foundation. So here's my little bag of makeup I did pick up from Ulta. That is a game changer. I wish every store did pick up because then I don't go in and buy so much stuff. You know what I mean? Even though you do have to go in and like pick it up. I try not to like mosey around and see what's new even though I did with this one because I was with a friend but I want every store to have pickups so I don't tempt myself to buy more stuff. You know what I mean? So the first thing I have here, which actually isn't from Ulta, I got this at CVS. It's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with sunscreen. I have seen this at my local CVS like on display for I feel like a month now and I always thought the packaging was so pretty but I hadn't heard anything about this and I was waiting and I was waiting and I still haven't so I was like you know what I'm gonna buy that and then if you're like me and you're like what is that foundation like now you're gonna know because you're gonna find my video so let's go ahead and test this out now I think the whole thing behind this is it's supposed to be appropriate for more mature skin it's radiant it's not quite as heavy which you know I I love that there's marketing towards older skin, but you don't have to use this if you have more mature skin. If you like a radiant finish and summer is coming, so we really, I mean, you should wear SPF all the time, but you should really load up on your SPF in the summer, especially if you live in Chicago, because in the winter we have like zero sun and it's still important, like I said, to wear SPF, but you really need to watch out in the summer when the sun is a little bit stronger. I'm sure all of you know that, but I thought this would be nice. I've been trying to, I'm just gonna use my AOA Studio Paw Paw Sponge. This is from Shop Miss A. These sponges are like $1.50. They're amazing, and I'm just gonna use this to blend it out. I think that this is a lighter-ish kind of like serum foundation, but I think it's buildable, so we'll see. But anyway, like I was saying, what was I saying? <laughs> sunscreen. I completely lost my train of thought and when I go back and edit this I'm gonna be like oh yeah I remember now. I have been trying to up my retinol game again. I stopped using retinol for a little bit. I don't know why I'm feeling like this is looking dry even though it's a radiant foundation. I'm gonna keep going but I mean it might be looking dry because I feel like my skin has been so jacked up lately. Ever since I got back from Denver I have been on the struggle bus when it comes to my skin. I feel like it's tight, it's been so dry, so I've been trying to use retinol only once a week and I use the smallest amount, I use SkinCeuticals like .05. I also feel like this is making me look ghostly and I got what I thought was gonna be too dark, number 30, beige rose, but maybe it's just like the sunscreen that's kind of giving that white cast, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look dry when I look up close and actually I feel like this has kind of a nice medium coverage 
Maybe I should have gone like one shade darker, but maybe it'll oxidize a little bit, especially because there's SPF in there. But I've been trying to use my retinol once a week to try to get my skin back in shape, and I just feel like nothing's been helping me. I, I don't know what's wrong with my skin lately. It's so tight. It's so dry. I haven't taken away any products. I haven't added in any new products. I don't know if I'm going through like a change. It is almost that time of the month for me, which is why I have, you know, a little friend right here, but I just, something is up with my skin. So that is one layer of the foundation. I actually feel like that's a nice medium coverage on me. And I know like coverage is kind of personal preference as well. What I think is medium might not be what you think is medium, but it did cover up a lot of my imperfections, but it's definitely not full coverage. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and add it on the back of my hand. I It's interesting, because look at that color on the back of my hand. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too light at all. So it's gotta be like the SPF or something like that. But I'm just gonna take that little bit and add a little bit of coverage on my cheek area. I was thinking this would be a really nice foundation for those like, you know, like off-duty model types of looks. Do you guys wanna see that? I think I have like the perfect off-duty model kind of routine with like the brows and the, you know, dewy skin. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. I think I wanna do a video on that, but I thought that this would be a really good foundation for that because it does have SPF. I feel like if I like smell the sponge, I can smell a little bit of SPF, but it's not off-putting whatsoever and I don't smell it like on my face. It's only if I actually smell my sponge. All right, so that is the foundation complete. I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks natural. There's a little bit of a shine to it and I've got SPF on, which is amazing. The only thing I wish I did is I wish I grabbed a shade darker, but you live and you learn. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and apply a concealer that I'm gonna talk about in a video coming soon. I am loving this concealer, but I'm not gonna talk about it yet. So make sure to subscribe so you can see what I'm talking about because it is a good one, you guys. All right, concealer and foundation are done. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some Wow Brow from e.l.f. into my brows. I'm not doing much of anything today. Actually, I am. I'm having the best day ever with my girlfriend, Julia. We are going to Home Goods and we're gonna go to eat arepas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's kind of like a torta, um, but it's like, I can't remember. Is it Venezuelan? I can't remember um, what kind of food it is, but they are so good and there's a place super close to me. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna watch TV and it's gonna be a great day. Any day that includes going to Home Goods and hanging out with one of your best friends is amazing. So I don't really have to, you know, do my makeup for that. I just wanna kind of look like an off-duty model. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just gonna pop this in the brows. I'm not gonna add any, you know, other product except for this, but I talked about this in a recent video, just such a good brow product. I think you guys can see I'm not even done, but it just makes your brows look beautiful. All right, and you guys have seen me do this a million and five times. I'm taking one of my favorite bronzers, my L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It in 01, and I'm just gonna bronze the heck out of my face because we're looking a little ghostly. All right, bronzer is on, that looks so much better. The sun is being blocked by a cloud right now, as the sun tends to do. So the lighting probably changed a little bit, but we're using natural light, so that's the name of the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and blush. This is just the Sigma Corderosa. Have you guys seen that Sigma Corderosa uh, eyeshadow palette that they just came out with? I think I might have to get that. It looks so pretty. All right, blush is done, bear with me, you guys. I know it feels like we're not using a lot of new products here, but they're coming. So I picked up two highlights this week. I picked up the Ofra Nikki Tutorials collab in Glazed Donut. Every time I use my Ofra highlights, I'm like, wow, you are so good. And then I never purchase anymore. So I thought it was time, and this is just such a beautiful highlight. But on that same note, I picked up the Milani new baked highlighters. This one is Dolce Perla, so let me grab this. And by let me grab this, I mean let me open this. <laughs> All right, Stanley's drinking his water over there. If you hear those little, like, licking sounds, it's quite cute. I can't stop him, you guys. I'm sorry. I know it might be annoying, but it's so cute, and I want him to drink his water. So anyway, this is the Dolce Perla, which has a little bit more of a pink reflect to it, and then this is more of like a true, like, 
champagne white gold kind of highlight so I'm thinking we'll do one on one side and one on the other but I do want to start with the Milani because I have been dying to try this and it was finally at my local Ulta so I just want to feel it first yeah it's pretty soft I don't usually use highlights that have a pink oh wait what am I doing you guys I always spray my face before I do this let me quickly do that I picked up the Milani make it dewy setting spray again I haven't tried this I really like their primer and I think I tried their like make it last setting spray a long time ago and I really liked that as well Stanley just jumped over here because anytime I open anything that has like this type of thing he's like let me have it so I'm just gonna quickly spray my face with this I'm gonna move my coffee out of the way because I'm not really in the mood to drink this today you know what I mean so I'm just gonna do a couple of spritzes well first prime ooh ooh that smells really nice it's fragranced, so if you don't like fragrance, you might, might not like it, but that's a unique sprayer. It's interesting, because like it kind of comes at you fast, but once it hits your face, it kind of disperses everywhere. I know you guys won't be able to see that on the camera, but I like it. And I'm pretty sure I said I'm just gonna give myself a couple of spritzes of that, and I think I sprayed at least 20 times. I like can't control myself. Do as I say, not as I do when it comes to setting spray, because you do not need to spray your face 20 times when it comes to setting spray. And now my mirror has setting spray all over it. Cool. Oh no, that's not setting spray, that's a um, mirror protector. The blonde is really sinking in. All right, I need to like pat that in or something because that really just made my face a lot glowier. Whoa. I don't know, maybe that'll sink in and absorb a little bit more, but let's take the Milani and apply that on this side of the face first. Ooh, wow. Very pigmented. And it, it's very like wet looking. It doesn't look like there's, hopefully, yeah, I think you guys can see that. It doesn't look like one of those like glittery highlights. It It's like a wet looking highlight. Whoa, that is pigmented. I could see it in my viewfinder. I'm just gonna tap that out a little bit. Very pretty, very, very pretty. I'm gonna kind of add that right there as well. I don't need a ton of highlight because I have a radiant foundation on, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Anastasia A23 because I don't wanna use the same one since I just applied the Milani with that. So I'm gonna take glazed donut on this side. Again, just so pigmented. That almost looks like it has a blue undertone to it. Or maybe it's just so white that it looks blue to me because I don't normally use that. Can you guys see that? Does that look like it has a blue undertone to you? I know I didn't get the one with the blue undertone. There was one that had a blue undertone called like Space Baby or something like that. I think it's just so icy. It looks like it has a blue undertone versus this. I actually think I like the Milani a little bit more, but the texture of... Ofra is so pretty. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and mix them so I don't look like a crazo walking around the street. I want them to look somewhat cohesive. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glazed donut to this side and then a little bit of Dolce Perla to this side. And we are just gonna be, in the words of Nikki Tutorials, a glow baby today. All right, so that is the face. I think everything looks really pretty. It looks really fresh. I'm not doing anything as far as eyeshadow because I don't want to, I'm too lazy. So I am gonna show you guys a couple of new eyeliners I picked up again at the recommendation of Taylor. These are the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liners. There's a black brown and a blackest black. When she applied these, I'm gonna open the black brown. You guys all know what blackest black looks like and I'm pretty sure that's what she used to so check out that video. She has lots of good recommendations. I think she did like, I think both of these were actually in that video. She did like a Target, like bought a bunch of makeup from Target, but this looked like it was so creamy when it went on. The tip of this is all messed up. I don't know what's up with that. And George is about to attack Stanley. Not in a bad way though, he's just playing. He wants him to play with him. But I'm gonna just rub this on the back of my hand to get that excess off, but you guys can see, really pretty brown. And I'm just gonna apply that on my 
upper waterline area, but I'm not gonna show it on camera because it's quite disturbing when someone like lifts up their eye like that and applies a product, you know what I mean? That really is unbelievably creamy, but you can see it's already transferring to my lower lash line. So if you aren't wearing anything on your lower lash line, which I'm not going to today, that might not work out too well. So I'm gonna pop off here and apply my mascara. You guys know I'm gonna use my Maybelline Snapscara in pitch black. I don't think I'm gonna apply anything to the lower lash line. I've been liking to just kind of apply this on the upper lash, not lash line, lashes, <laughs> because it just kind of makes me look a little bit more awake and then I don't have to worry about, you know, like as my eyes water, which you can see is happening right now because my allergies, as the seasons change, get horrible. I don't have to worry about that like coming off or anything like that. So I'm gonna do this and I'll be right back. All right, mascara is done, so let's go in with our final product, which is new for me and I have been dying to try for such a good, good time for such a long time and they finally popped up at my Ulta. This is the ColourPop Lip Crayons. I picked up two colors, Z Boys and City of Stars. I couldn't pick between and they're kind of similar. Uh, you guys know how much I love those Revlon balm sticks. These are kind of the same type of deal, but I felt like these were a little bit more pigmented, so let me get them out. I just feel like products like this make life so much easier because it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It's kind of like a balm stain. They're just really nice. So this one is Z Boys and this one is City of Stars. So City of Stars is just a little bit darker. This is more of like a peachy. This is more of like a terracotta type of color. So I don't know. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to do City of Stars. Yeah, let's do this one. These are like perfect when I go to work. See, it's just so easy because I don't have to worry about like touching up with a mirror or anything like that. Mmm. What does that smell like? Grapefruit or something? It's definitely scented with something. I think I'm gonna add Z-Boys over this, but first I wanna kinda tap this in a little bit. Very, very pigmented formula, but goes on so easy. And it smells like grapefruit, I think. I think it's grapefruit. Truth be told, I don't really like grapefruit, so I don't eat it very often, but I'm pretty sure that's grapefruit scented. So I'm just gonna take a little of Z-Boys and go over. Very, very, very nice formula. Highly recommend these. These are beautiful. Again, just gonna kind of tap it out and perfect it. All right, you guys, and that is the completed look. I think everything looks super pretty. It looks super fresh. It's so comfortable. I like the foundation so far. I will let you guys know how it wears down below. Always check the description bar if you're interested in seeing how something wears when I'm doing a video like this and not doing a check-in, but really lightweight, and I think it looks really pretty. I feel like it matches my neck now, so I think it might oxidize a little bit, but I also added a bit of bronzer. So I'll keep trying it, and I'll let you guys know, but so far, so good. It's not sinking into any lines or anything like that which was one of the claims so I totally agree with that I love both highlighters I think they're both super pretty and you guys would like either one if you picked it up I'm gonna have to keep trying the setting spray I felt like that kind of did a little bit of something to this area right here I may have gone in a little bit too much but there might be just a little too much shimmer in this for me especially when I'm going in with a radiant foundation as far as the wet n wild pencils these are really really nice really really creamy, really pigmented, like $2.99 and waterproof. So can't go wrong with these. Absolutely love these. I'm gonna go back for more of these. These are so pigmented, so comfortable. I love the smell. The smell is lingering for sure. I can still smell that whole grapefruit situation, but it doesn't bother me at all. And I think that was it for new products, right? I did wanna mention a couple other things I purchased. This Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrogel Mask is one of my favorites when my skin is dry. So I'm gonna apply this later today because like I said, something is going on with my face. And then I also saw that they had this Hydro Boost Hydrate overnight gel mask so I'm gonna try that overnight one day and see how that goes so I'll let you guys know how that goes but yeah that is it for this one I hope you found this video fun educational entertaining something I hope you guys stuck around at least to this point and if you did make sure to subscribe it means the absolute world to me and give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel out so more people can see it if you haven't followed me on Instagram give me a follow there I will always let you know on Instagram when I post a new video and you will see all of my fur babies all over over my Instagram. They are all over my stories. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.